Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Shocking news alert. The Browns move a lot. I know, I know. It, that is nothing new and in fact for probably all of season 13 going into 14, the focus has been on one big move and it's kind of become a joke amongst Sister Wives fans and viewers about just how often they move, the chaos in which they move, like there's no real rhyme or reason or structure or organization when it comes to moving for the Browns. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about the move to Flagstaff, how it came to to be and how in my opinion and I think in a lot of people's opinions Robin really was the master manipulator behind this whole move because it really made no sense it will come as no surprise to a lot of you if you're watching this video if you're a fan of sister wives if you engage in chatter on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, that a lot of people have always thought that Robin is very conniving and cunning behind the scenes. On the show, she likes to portray her, at least herself a certain way. I would say probably herself and her kids a certain way, but just the actions that the family has taken don't really always jive with the story Robin tries to sell. And it leads a lot of us, myself included, to believe that she is much more cunning and manipulative behind the scenes. I'm going to take you guys back to season 13. So by the time we get to season 13, the Browns have moved from Lehigh to Las Vegas. They at first lived separately in rentals in Las Vegas, and then they really had their dream come to fruition in the building of this cul-de-sac, the development of these four houses that were right next to each other that really Fans and viewers continue to talk about the fact that this was really the most ideal living situation for the Browns. It gave them an opportunity to raise their kids together with each of the wives having their solace and their own autonomy. And it, you know, even for Cody, who really does not garner a lot of sympathy from viewers, it, it made it so that he wasn't having to, you know, go all across town going house to house. It was literally like walking across the street. So when they made this move, a lot of people were like, why? Flagstaff made very little sense. Let me take you back to this conversation that actually Cody was having with Mariah at the opening of Mary's B&B &B about how he longs and he yearns to return to Utah. You know, it's tough. I, Vegas has been good to us, and yet uh, it doesn't feel like home. I've wanted to move back to Utah ever since we left. And I keep thinking about moving back to Utah, but the impossibility of doing it. And I'm wondering sometimes if I should just move to Utah, I draw a lot of attention by running for office. I do want to move back. Now, at this time, and actually in the next episode after this, after the episode where this clip aired, Cody actually makes this big presentation to the wives to actually make a move. And his big tagline was, where, what, where we go, we go all. And I think that that was like, Janelle, you better. You better get on board because we all know Janelle Janelle has no qualms about staying put, even if the whole family moves. So at this time, when Cody's talking about pitching the wives on a move, he's saying he's been talking about wanting to leave Vegas for three years already and that this really is the time to do it. And he thinks that Christine is going to be the most vocal against a move to Utah now you know, coming now that we've seen up to season 16 and we can look back, we're like, huh, why was Christine against it there? And then by seasons 15 and 16, she is like dying to move back to Utah. And I'll tell you, I don't think it was the fact that it was Utah. I think for her, it was about not living in fear uh, and in hiding anymore. You know, being the third wife, her kids and herself traditionally would not be able to claim Cody publicly. Wow whole life I lived in fear of that the police finding out that my dad lived polygamy and they could come into our house and take my dad and I wouldn't see my dad anymore 
that was reality to me. That was my every day. I realized that. So I'd go to school with that knowledge. I'd interact with my friends with that knowledge. I always had that knowledge. Remember, Christine grew up the most indoctrinated, in my opinion. Her grandfather, Rulon Allred, literally founded the AUB. Janelle did not grow up in polygamy, and Cody was a late convert. You know, Cody grew up mainstream LDS, and it wasn't until he was on his mission that his father converted to this new sect of Mormonism that included polygamy. I think that you could argue that Christine's surname was synonymous with polygamy and there was really no way for her to live in Utah without hiding, without being in hiding and without being in fear of literally prosecution. And as far as the other wives not wanting to move, because at this point when Cody makes this presentation, none of the wives are really on board with moving. But Robin especially speaks about her desire to want to put down roots. I'm going to sew some roots to Cody's feet. Wherever we go, I'm going to plant him in the ground and cover up his roots. And he's going to have to stay there. I think it needs to be pointed out that as far as all the wives being against moving or for moving or where they stand, season 13 is fresh off the catfish scandal. So Mary at this point would probably do whatever Cody wanted to do. And if that meant moving, you know, I think she has the least to lose as far as that goes because her child is out of the house. She like she doesn't have to worry about, you know, her child still being in school or what have you like, you know high school. And Janelle's worst enemy is being bothered. So she's not going to want to go through the hassle of a move. And Janelle, like I said, doesn't mind living separately from the rest of the family. So if they want to move, that doesn't necessarily mean that Janelle's going with them. So again, I think that's why Cody like kept that line in there. Like where one of us goes, we all go. On the show and particularly at this time, Robin is really wishy-washy about moving. She, she agrees with a lot of the things her sister wife's saying, but ultimately, you know, she wants to make sure that Cody's happy. And I think she actually was coming off as wishy-washy on the show, but I think she completely had her mind made up and was working behind the scenes, and we're going to touch on that in just a second. During season 13, the topic of safety comes up when as one of the reasons why Cody wants to move. Some viewers think, because season 13 was shot, um, I think too, late 2018, 2019, and this was pretty soon out. It was just like a year or two after the Las Vegas mass shooting. And so viewers were thinking this could be one of the reasons why Cody and then the parents ultimately wanted to leave Vegas. Or some others have speculated that perhaps, like, the parents weren't really thrilled with the friend groups that some of the teenagers had and that that could have been an impetus to want to move as well. There is this notion of safety um, as a, a big contributing factor in a reason to move. But all of a sudden, and this is why my, like, <laughs> my conspiracy theory antenna goes off, all of a sudden... And, and and by all of a sudden, I mean in the span of two episodes. So, and I don't know how far apart these episodes were shot, but literally it's two episodes later, Cody goes from yearning to be back home in Utah to looking at properties in Arizona. I really lean very hard to Prescott, Arizona. Every time I show them a picture, they go, well, if we can move anywhere, why would we go someplace that's desert? That's not a whole lot prettier than Las Vegas. So ever since then, I've just been vetting different places to move to, you know, real estate prices, checking places out, showing my wife's pictures. Those are some pretty trees. Yeah. Where are they? Oh, uh, that's Flagstaff, Arizona. Cody's desire to move back to Utah, in my opinion, was a valid reason. Like, they they viewed themselves as having to have fled in the middle of the night, being pushed out. Like, Cody, there was a risk that he could be charged with a felony. So, them wanting to leave and not have to live in that fear, and then also the added benefit of all their kids being able to claim each other and their parents publicly, that was all a benefit for them to leaving. But to move to some random random city in Arizona for fuck all reason seems suspicious. Well, turns out it might not have been such a random location that Cody plucked from his, you know, the very back of his mind. Turns out Dayton 
decided to go to school at Northern Arizona University in, you guessed it, Flagstaff, Arizona. When the move was decided and these episodes aired, viewers called this out and Robin got really defensive on Twitter. And again, I so wish that they would go back to uh, live tweeting these episodes, but I highly doubt they ever will. Anyways, Robin had this to say, Vegas was never going to be our permanent home. We always thought we would be able to move back to Utah someday. Utah, not uh, Arizona. Well, when we couldn't move back, we found someone someplace else that felt like home. Hmm. She also posted, we were so excited when Dayton was accepted to NAU. He was able to get a scholarship as well. The campus is so beautiful. And when people started calling her out, she replied, he was planning on going to UNLV. But then when the idea of the move came up, he hurried and applied at NAU in the nick of time. I was relieved when he decided to go with us to Flagstaff. Now, I don't know. It's been a while since I've applied to college. And I don't really know how the admissions process works nowadays. I mean, back in the day, you had to apply and wait for like either a tiny envelope that said you didn't get in or a big envelope that was like, welcome to blah, blah, blah college. So with that being said, when I was applying to school back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, applications were due like November-ish, like October, November, if you wanted to matriculate the following fall. So it wasn't something for most schools, and I'm not sure how NAU works, but for most schools, it was like you applied, you waited several months to see if you got in, then you had to decide where to go if you got multiple uh, acceptance letters. And then it's like, like this whole thing took a year. You apply, you get accepted, you decide where to go, you go. You know, it's not like a, oh, I, I, I applied last week and I got in and I'm going next week. And it just doesn't work like that. Additionally, if safety, quote, safety was a concern for wanting to leave Vegas, you were really going to leave Dayton behind at UNLV. I think not. The kid has never lived away from home. He doesn't seem as worldly as some of the other kids. I highly, highly doubt it was ever a consideration to leave one of Robin's precious children behind. My theory is that Dayton applied to NAU and got in and around this time, Cody starts seriously floating the idea of moving. Like, he said he had been talking about it for three years and then got super serious about it. So I, in what I think happened is that he started getting super serious about moving. Dayton had this acceptance letter. There was some pushback from the otherwise about going to Utah. And Robin pounced on this opportunity to manipulate a move to Flagstaff. That's just my theory. So now fast forward, the family has relocated to Flagstaff and is separated all in separate homes. COVID hits and then the family gets even more isolated. And then big news comes from, from Utah that essentially polygamy for all intents and purposes gets decriminalized. It's no longer a felony. It's reduced to an infraction. And this is Great news for plural families in the state of Utah. And Christine is like, oh my gosh, we can go home. Then two years ago, Cody wanted to move back to Utah. We were like, ooh, it's not safe. The governor of Utah just signed the bill that makes polygamy decriminalized. As soon as they, the new governor signed it, my first thought was, we can finally move back home. Family's there. Everybody has family in Utah. Yeah, I'm so frustrated by this, Christine. Well, you're talking about something that I want that I just refuse to, to even entertain now. It's an exciting thought just because all my friends are in St. George. I hate the idea of moving, but I love the idea of living in St. George. I mean, and I'm just not shutting her down because I'm not going to sit here and say your idea is dumb, especially when I like it. And Cody has been yearning to go back to Utah as well. And he agrees with her that it would be the dream to return to Utah and this gives Christine hope that they can actually return to where their community is. And to be fair to Christine, what's going on in Flagstaff? They're not developing on Coyote Pass. All the kids are doing remote learning. And it's unclear if Dayton is even still enrolled in school. Robin says that he and Aurora are, you know, taking online classes. But I mean, who knows? So really, since all these kids are doing school from home anyways... 
why not go back to Utah? Well, not so fast, Christine. Robin doesn't want to move because like, sh like I showed you in the earlier clip, she said that the next time they moved, she was going to plant Cody in the ground and let his roots take, you know, adhere to the soil and blah, blah, blah. But they have no community in Flagstaff. They don't have friends and family in Flagstaff. And at this point, like I said, it was unclear if Dayton was even still in school. Lots of people speculate that he actually dropped out. Robin claims that he and Aurora were doing distance learning. A lot, you know, all of the younger kids through their schools were doing distance learning. So, I mean, I don't know. I, he wasn't going physically to the campus, at least. And again, as far as, you know, this really got set up in my opinion, as a Christine versus Robin. And I think Cody, if you asked him just by himself what he really wanted to do, I think he would say he wanted to go to Utah. But he's obviously going to side with Robin. Like, that's where he's spending all the time. That's who he has the most functional relationship. And again, as far as the other wives go, Janelle doesn't mind not living near the rest of the family. Janelle's worst enemy is being bothered. She just wants to be un bothered. Um, and Mary is going to echo whatever Cody and Robin want to do. So really, this leaves Christine as the odd man out. And Cody really just throws her under the bus. And comparatively, when you look at it, the kids have talked about moving dozens of times. I think that they've counted like, I don't know, 12 to 15 moves that they've made. The kids really have had no stability throughout their childhood. Most of them remember the Lehigh house as, you know, the place with their fondest childhood memories. But actually, Vegas is where they lived the longest and they lived there for seven years. So these kids were just being uprooted left and right their whole lives. And when you look at it, when the show started filming is when Robin came into the family and she only moved twice with them she, from Utah to Vegas and then from Vegas to Flagstaff. Like she hasn't had to uproot her kids as many times as the other wives have. And now that the kids are getting older and moving, you know, a lot of Christine's kids have moved to Utah. And, you know, Utah actually makes a lot of sense. Mary's uh, b, b is in Utah. Uh, for Robin, her parents are in Utah. It just, it does make a lot of sense to go back to Utah. It just, that it seems like the reason why they're staying put in flags up is simply because Robin doesn't want to move again. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think of my theory down in the comments. My theory is just that I think that Robin presents herself one type of way when the cameras are rolling and a completely different way when the cameras are gone. I think that while she might have appeared to be wishy-washy or against initially moving to Flagstaff, I think that this was ultimately like pretty planned out and calculated by her probably feeding these nuggets and planting the seeds in Cody's mind until until Cody th seemed like moving to Flagstaff was equal to moving to Utah, even though his reasonings for wanting to move to Utah came because of like years of memories and, you know, family and community and Flagstaff held nothing for them. Anyways, I digress. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, sub subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.